So don't ever for a minute think that sending love to someone doesn't make a difference. I was going to share this story tomorrow, but I'll share it now. About three weeks ago, I upgraded my phone. So I was in the phone store changing to a new one. And anybody who's been through that agony knows it takes <laughs> about an hour, right, to transfer your data and go through all the little things. I was with the clerk who was helping me, and he was very helpful. And I was prepared, so I was patient. And I noticed the store's kind of busy, and over here is uh, the manager training an employee on her first day. And suddenly I became aware of a very loud voice. Isn't anybody working here? <laughs> and everybody in the store, you could feel the tension, right? <laughs> and then I hear the manager say, yes, sir, we'll get to you when we can. And he says, well, it doesn't look like you're working. I mean, really loud. There were at least 10 customers in the store, and she said, I'm helping someone right now. Just be patient, please. And he went on, and I've become very careful in these past few years of the difference between an observation and a judgment. This is a judgment. He was obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And it was, it, it was so abrasive, so loud, and very apparent that everybody in the store is doing that thing we do. <laughs> if I look down and ignore him, it'll go away. But truly, over the years, I've learned that radiating love does make a difference to the point where, of course, Ty laughs at me, and I've said this before, and he says, I know, send love. <laughs> and so I was suddenly very aware this is an opportunity to see, will this make a difference? And we did that exercise where we looked in each other's eyes, and that was an exercise, and that was planned. I don't know. I guess it was my soul took over this body, but in that situation, this was so out of character for me, the person. I just turned, he was across the store, and I looked right in his eyes, not with a confrontational look, not with a big smile, just a neutral look, and I opened my heart and just sent as much love as I could and held it, and he locked eyes on me for about five seconds, and then really loud, he says, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, in a normal tone of voice, not loud, not soft, I'm sending love. Oh, wow. And he said, I don't need love. <laughs> and I replied, we all do. And then I just turned back to the man who was helping me, but I kept it open, even though now he started berating me. <laughs> but it, it just flowed off. And then, this was unexpected, the manager, sir, you cannot talk to my customers that way. <laughs> So I thought, oh, did this just escalate? <laughs> you know, that was not the intention. But then suddenly I became aware of silence. And I looked up and I said, what happened? She said, he just left. <laughs> and I, she said, what did you do? And I said, I sent love. If you don't give, so this is what I said to her, if you don't give one, someone something to push back against, the issue dissolves. And she said, that's cool. <laughs> she said, I'm going to try that. <laughs> it was the most beautiful moment. And this new employee really got a lesson. She's just like, whoa. Because the, the, uh, my clerk said, this kind of stuff happens all the time. And I said, well, now you have a new tool. So we worked for another half hour. And when I got up to leave, I thought that had all passed. And I said, thank you very much for your help. And he said, you just keep sending that love. <laughs> Isn't that great? So I hope it motivates you to do the same. And, and I've done it. I learned it also. So I'm glad you asked the question years ago when I first started talking to the guides and knowing they were here to help us. And Ty and I rarely dis have open disagreements. We disagree about things, but not conflict openly. And he said something, and I said something, and I walked off like this, 
this is a good 10 years ago, and I went into the room and I said, I don't know how to handle this. And I heard clear as day, just love him. That's at the basis of all disagreements. We just want to be loved. We want to be right, but what's beneath that? We want to be appreciated and loved and seen and heard. And it was so stunning and so unexpected at the time, because at that time I had just begun connecting regularly with higher consciousness. And I went back and I found him and I walked up and I said, I love you so much. And the whole thing went away. It's amazing. And I'm just going to repeat that one phrase. If you don't give another human something human to push back against, then you have a soul speaking to a story and there's no pushback. So try it. Yeah. But sending love is hugely valuable. It makes a huge difference. We may not see the results at the human level, but the soul feels it and it, it does have an effect.